Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. For two years, I've been looking for a new light fixture for my bathroom, but I haven't found a thing that I like. Together, we came up with a plan to use the existing fixture and make it look a little bit better. Let's see if it works. We covered the mirror with a drop cloth to protect it from dust, then measured the space. We paid close attention to the distance so the cover did not touch the lights. The magnetic stud finder made finding and marking the stud on each side easy. Before making any cuts, we sanded the wood. We sprayed a clear protective finish on the wood to protect it from moisture in the bathroom. We marked our cuts, making sure to calculate the thickness of the wood. After making our cuts, we lined up the L brackets and screwed them into place. We used a piece of painter's tape to make sure we didn't drill our pilot holes too deep. Once we got all our cuts made, we realized the live edge wood was not level, which caused it to not lay flat on the bathroom wall. Back to the drawing board, we realized we needed to make new side pieces and make one slightly angled to compensate for the uneven live wood cover. It took a while to get the angle right. We ended up making a cardboard template to play around with the angle before making the cuts. Back to the bathroom, we drilled our pilot holes and screwed the L bracket into the wall first. Then we held the wood in place and used bolts to attach the cover to the wall. This will allow us to easily remove the cover if we need to replace the lights. But as they are new LEDs, we shouldn't have to do this for a very long time. What we learned. Well, Steph, we learned a lot on this project. We decided to use this piece of live edge wood, but we found it was not straight. It was really, really warped. So we had to use a lot of creativity in, in our design. If we were to do it over again, we'd use a nice straight piece of lumber. But we can't go back and do it again. And we love what we have, so we're happy with this project. It was a success. As with any project, flexibility is key. You make a plan, and then when that doesn't work out, you make another plan, and then another plan after that. In the end, this project took us about a week to complete because we had to make a lot of changes, we had to wait for glue to dry, and we had life in between. But in the end, like I said, it was successful. And we, we did, did it together. together. Oh man, Steph, the garage was really hot. Yeah, Florida uh, in summertime may not be the best time to do outside projects. I think you're right. Yeah, they can still see us.